Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys how you can blur a moving object in Clipchamp, so let's get right into it. Now, there is no way to blur a singular moving object within a uh, one complete video. The only thing that you can do is you can blur an entire video or entire image by itself, and that is pretty much all you can do. Now, I'll show you some things of how you can, uh, some ideas on how you can do this manually uh, and how you can implement it so for example if i take this here well pretty much gif but it is a video of these dinosaurs moving uh, or walking across the, sc the screen uh, if i go and go into effects and just click on the blur icon as you can see it applies the blur filter to the entire video and as you can see the moving objects are blurred as well but that doesn't help if you only want to blur the moving parts sadly there is no sort of motion blur within um clip champ so you'll need to figure things out by yourself but for example if you take i don't know something like this and you have these two pictures with one picture over over a background you could possibly create several frames in which you can basically make a sort of keyframe sort of moving animation uh, of a singular image by yourself of course if you want to adjust the dog you'd need to re uh, remove the white background uh, and you can do that by going into effects and just clicking the black and white remover uh, which is somewhere here i can't seem to find it but it doesn't matter uh, it might be only available for videos uh, but yeah uh, anyway you can as I've mentioned, just create a sort of stop motion keyframe sort of animation. And then you can go ahead and pick the blur filter and blur that picture and then create a keyframe animation with that. I like that. And as you can see, the background isn't blurred, but the picture is. And that's pretty much all you can do in Clipchamp. It is a very rudimentary editing software. If you want to blur moving objects, you're better off using other software such as Premiere Pro or Sony Vegas. Uh, but yeah, that is pretty much it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys in another video.